Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stamp Cat Stamps. Today I have a little bit of a different episode for you. I'm going to be doing a mail day episode. Since I started this channel, I've had a few people reach out to me and ask if they could send me something in the mail. And of course I said yes. Today I just wanna show you some of the really cool things that I've been getting um, and just kind of acknowledge them and say a big thank you. My first letter was from Tan May in Bangladesh and mail from Bangladesh looks really intense. Like we had to get all the, all this like ID and stuff on the envelope but when I open it the first thing I saw is this amazing cover which is super neat thank you and inside a nice little letter here and some stamps from Bangladesh and I don't really have a great setup right here. It's kind of small. So I'm going to lay them all out on the table and show it to you guys. These stamps, there's a lot of blocks and in really great condition. So thank you so much, Tanmay. This is awesome. So I've relocated to my table. And here are the stamps from Bangladesh that I got from Tanmay. First of all, we have this gorgeous first day cover here showing the Guerrilla War in 1971 and with that special postmark. And then let's have a look at the stamps inside here. So I was really surprised, Tammy sent me a lot of new, like brand new stamps never used. So in no particular order, there's one with diabetes awareness, one with an airplane. This is a really neat one, I think just came out in 2021. But that's pretty cool with the rocket. <laughs> and then here's one that's a Sir Roland Hill. Some different birds and flute, flutes, <laughs> fruits, <laughs> flora and fauna in Bangladesh. This one's cute, it's um, a scout stamp. I didn't know that they had scouts in Bangladesh. I don't know why that's surprising to me, but they have it there. And here's another scout stamp too. And then we have some communication stamps. There's a couple of these. And then quite a few blocks, unused blocks. So these are really neat. And then a block of this one for the Guerrilla War too. And then this one, which is super neat. And then I actually, I saved this one for last. This is actually my favorite one of the whole bunch. I just really like the design on it. I like the elephant and it's a traditional type of um, a quilt or tapestry known as a nakshi kanta which means patched cloth and is a traditional art that Bangladeshi women have made for centuries. This stamp issued in 1973 is the oldest in this group. It was actually one of the first definitive stamps of Bangladesh. Tanmay, thank you so much. I really don't have a lot of stamps from Bangladesh. Since it's such a new country, I feel like it's not on the radar of a lot of people's collections, but I really feel like Bangladesh has kind of embraced philately and they're doing a really good job with like issuing stamps that relate to their country. I love it. I really like them all. Thank you so much. <laughs> so next, I actually got a letter from Croatia. I'm going to try to say your name correctly but I really apologize if it's wrong. Um, this letter is from Jadranko in Croatia. Jadranko sent me a letter with some stamps. These Croatia stamps which are awesome. Well, even the envelope by itself was super cool. And Yadranko writes, Hello Lisa, I'm sending you some worldwide stamps from my stamp collection. I hope you don't have these stamps in your collection. Enjoy. Best regards, Yadranko. Uh, keep on with your videos. Thank you so much. And again, I'm gonna lay out all of the stamps that he sent to me on the table and kind of show you guys. Up next are my stamps from Yadranko. You really sent me a lot. <laughs> There's a lot to show here, but they they are so pretty, so I want to go over them. First, I'm gonna start with the ones from Great Britain. And a lot of these are Christmas stamps, which I really like. They're perfect for Christmas coming up. This one's interesting, the Civil War. Um, I've heard a lot about the American Civil War, but I didn't know Britain had one. He also sent some from Australia. Some more Christmas ones. Laura and Fauna here again. Cute, so cute. This is an interesting one. Is this like a sea creature or what? <laughs> Aww, and the echidna. Echidna always reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog. I always like to play as the red echidna character on that game. 
I love these kangaroos. Yes, cows facing left. If you watch Exploring Stamps video, he goes to one of the stamp shows talking with the lady at the topical booth. She asked her, what's the strangest topical collection you've ever heard of? And she says, cows facing left. But I thought, how could there possibly be enough stamps of cows facing left to make a collection? Since then, I just keep coming across cows facing left. So now I'm collecting it. This is one of my favorites. I just think that's so pretty. And I forgot, so there's actually some more Great Britain ones. So this was my actually my favorite stamp that I got from Britain from this bunch. I just think it's pretty, I like that bird. And then the stamps from Japan. And this one I love, I shrieked when I saw it. Of course if my name is Stamp Cat, I love cats. The cat is so cute and I just love how it's like cut out in front of the stamp. Like it has a really interesting shape to it, which is really neat. Thank you, I love that cat one so much. There's my stamp cat meowing now. Winnie the Pooh is so cute! Eating honey and getting a hug from Piglet. That's a nice deer. This one's cool too. Look at that rooster. Another pretty deer. I really like the art on this one too. Very, very pretty. This one's fun too. I think it's meat hanging from a string. <laughs> These last two I really like. I'm a fan of those gimmicky stamps. So I don't know if you can tell, but this one, it like glitters. <laughs> I'm a fan of like shiny, sparkly. And this one is it's a penguin. We see it from his belly, but same thing. It also has like some really eye-catching sparkly bubbles, I guess, by the penguin. I love it. Thank you so much. One more country, Germany. This one's fun. It looks like it might have a accordion um, postmark on it too. That's really neat. Für dich, for you. Germany also has a lot of super nice landscapes on their stamps. I like them. Another nice lighthouse. This is a nice big scenery scape. That stamp has a lot going on. That's really cool. This one's good for fall time. Classic car, very classic. Such a huge haul from Yadranko. These are so beautiful and modern and again in super nice condition and I love them all. So thank you so much. Moving on, I also got some postcards from viewers. The first one I got is from John in the Philippines. He also follows me on Instagram and John's Instagram handle is mailman underscore ph. And I'll just show you kind of the stamps. It has a beautiful world postcard mark from Manila. And then I hope we can see it in focus here. There's the handle, Mailman PH. So I mentioned to John that actually I'm also mixed Filipina. My mom is from Philippines and then my dad is from Canada. But I did not mention that I don't actually speak Tagalog. So whenever we go visit, my catchphrase there is Hindi ko maintindihan, which means I don't understand. <laughs> but John wrote to me in Tagalog and for your entertainment, I will read what he wrote. Magandang araw po, Lisa. Sana po ay okay po kayo dian sa Canada. Sana one day makapag experience din po ako ng extreme philately sa Canada. Nasisiyahan po ako at na -e educate sa mga YouTube videos mo. More power po. <laughs> I admit I had to use Google Translate and my mom <laughs> to translate the postcard but it basically says, good day Lisa. I hope everything's going okay in Canada. I hope one day to experience extreme philately in Canada. I enjoy uh, learning or being being educated from your YouTube videos and more power, more power to the videos. So thank you so much, John. <laughs> I will work on my Tagalog. And then the front of the postcard is this. And it says Sayao Ed Tapu Na Banco. And there's little information on the back and it basically means like a dance on a bench. It's a dance performed by a couple on top of a long narrow bench made of wood, which I actually didn't know about before. So in Philippines, uh, one of their most popular cultural dances that I know is Tinikling. Two people will sit on the end holding these long bamboo sticks and they kind of like to a rhythm, they'll go boom, boom, chk, and then the dancers have to step their feet in the middle without getting caught um, at the top 
time when the pole holders smash it together. So I knew all about tinikling, but I've actually never heard of this sayana banco before. So thank you, John, for teaching me about my own culture. <laughs> Up next, I just got this in the mailbox last week actually. So this postcard is so cute. It is Paddington Bear. And of course, Paddington Bear lives in London, which is also the home of Richard Philatelist. So he also has a YouTube channel that I'm a really big fan of. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, you really should. Our channels are kind of the same ages, so I feel like we're, I don't know, in similar phases of our collecting journey, so to speak. <laughs> Lately, Richard has been doing videos on his visits to the Isle of Man. He just released one that also tells a little bit about postal service by train, or a bit of the history of postal service by train. So I noticed this stamp has a railway locomotive, which is super cool. And then I also have some of the newer machins and you can see they have, they've been beheaded by a pen cancel, but that's okay, what can you do? And they also have that security seal. It's that like oval mark where if you try to peel off the stamp, it'll leave that stuck behind. So we can't counterfeit the stamp. Thank you so much, Richard, for your postcard. I really like it and keep up with your amazing videos as well. I will be following them closely. Last but not least, this postcard is actually from a friend of mine who during the pandemic, she moved away to be closer to family. So we've decided to be pen pals now. Since I got her postcard too, I'll just show it to you. This is from the French River Trading Post. I've never been, but it's up north here in Ontario. We have Hungry Bear and Blueberry Hound. And apparently this is a popular stop along Route 69 if you're heading up to Northern Ontario. And they have a nice little gift shop there and restaurant and you can buy some canned made crafts and that kind of thing if you're headed up north. So thank you to my friend. I'm always happy to get fun mail like this. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who sent me something. And if anyone else who's watching wants to send me something, just send me an email at thestampcat at gmail.com and I'll tell you my address. And I also, I think on my Instagram, I'm gonna add it onto a story highlight. And finally, I have one last announcement. So I've also signed up for Buy Me A Coffee. As you can see from my sign, I do enjoy coffee. So if you wanted to support the channel, but didn't have any extra stamps right now to send out, feel free to donate and buy me a coffee. <laughs> All right, everyone, that concludes today's quick little mail opening. Hopefully I can do a few more of these in the future. As always, stay safe and stay curious. Bye for now.